Well, maybe you don't have a travel companion. This is uh, a, an issue that does come up for some people, for sure, a real, real issue. Uh, but riverboat cruises uh, could be a great opportunity to see the world without having to find a partner to explore along with you. The travel lady talking about this. Uh, you know my story because I've talked about it before. Yes. My mom's in this scenario. Right. And it's tough if you're on your own, if you're a single person, because mm -hmm. you get charged. You get hit with extra costs. You do. Uh, and sometimes it can just be intimidating uh, being out there on your own, but you have some options. That's right. You know, you, when you're traveling on your own, you want to be in a smaller group of people, in a more intimate uh, situation. You don't want to be on a cruise ship with 5,000 people because you can be very alone in a crowd. I find on the smaller riverboat vessels that uh, it's a lot more intimate. People get friendly a lot easier and uh, accommodate single people. And let's face it too, there are some couples that don't want to travel together either. And I don't mean that as a joke, yes. but someone may want to go somewhere and someone's like, I'm not interested. Yeah. And be like, well, I want to go on my own. So what are we looking at here? So I picked out just one of the many itineraries I've got. This is south of France. This is all uh, one of my favorite places. I loved this itinerary when I traveled. It goes from all all the way up to Lyon and uh, just absolutely fabulous. This is the River Cruise Company we're featuring here. It's Uniworld. Beautiful, high-end, all-inclusive cruising, everything included, tastefully decorated. Oh, my gosh. You really are feeling as if you're on a very beautiful uh, boutique hotel on the waterways of Europe. Yeah, when I picture river crews, I just picture these old <laughs> rickety boats moving yeah. along. But these are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. This, this is, uh, again, in all the... Um the Colosseum there that was uh, built. You know, there's, uh, what I like about river cruising is you get into these destinations along the river and you just walk off the boat and you explore that way. So many of the tours that are included are walking tours. You're not necessarily getting on a bus the whole time as well. And if you're intimidated by ocean, which some people are too, you get to see land the whole time. You're always seeing something on a river cruise. You're not out there for five days just floating around. That's right. And there's no motion sickness as well. There you which go. Is also no chop. Uh, so what's the deal here? So these start at $31.99 per person. This is based on the March departure. Okay. I've got several dates throughout the year. And in fact, I've got several itineraries, the Rhine, Prague to Budapest, many of those available for singles. So shoot me an email and I'll be happy to send along the entire list to you. It's a great way to take advantage of not paying that extra charge. Terrific. Uh, I know you got another deal um, hidden away in your yes. little book there. And uh, this is to one of my favorite cities, uh, New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, we fantastic. love New Orleans. I love it. It's fantastic. So this little package for the first time visitors got everything included, three nights hotel, We've got a two-day uh, visitor's pass, which includes 20 attractions, so that's oh, wow. all prepaid for. Dinner at a popular restaurant and a big, easy jazz tour. Oh, fantastic. How cool is that? $562 per person. You have to get yourself down there. Okay. That's what air miles are for. Yes, yes. and you can get it, I guess it's just to Houston and to Houston to New Orleans. Yeah, well, I think you can fly right into New Orleans. Oh, you can? So that's okay, an easy here. way to do it, yeah. Oh, terrific. Yeah. All right, if you're interested in that package or, of course, any of the river cruises that go throughout the year, contact the Travel Lady at 277-6884 or visit her website at thetravellady.ca. Yay!